Hey everyone, welcome to Tathastu. I hope you all are doing good. Well, today we are going to talk about Indian rupee and its possibility to rule the world or at least to make a better place of its own in the world. Few days back, few weeks back, we uh, discussed about de-dollarization, how different parts of the world, different parts of the country are pursuing, are pushing themselves to reduce their dependency on US dollars and to create a multipolar world in a true sense they want the system the whole of the world to be dependent on multi multiple currencies okay so in that spirit in that context we are going to talk about this thing that how is this indian currency is placed and can it really not really replace it but can it uh, make a situation or can it make its place in the global world order okay in the financial world order but before that we are go going to discuss this quick information with you so there are four beautiful courses which have been designed by the Thastu. one is mslv for your answer writing practices admissions are open here another one is pslv prelim success launch vehicle it is coming soon third one is ncrt module as we know uh, thus the whole idea of upsc or the foundation of upsc has been based on these ncrt books so these are really very important for you so the registration is open now and if you want you can enroll here and then there is a fourth information which is regarding philosophy optional the new batches are getting started from 15th of september and this will be helmed by the new ma'am herself okay and these are the information if you want to enroll in these courses or if there is a query for you if you have already enrolled then these are the numbers on which you can contact and here is the address also okay so now let's discuss about the thing what is this india aiming so india is aiming to make rupee a global currency why are we discussing this news because rbi's group which is called idg this is interdepartmental group uh, recently they said that with India remaining one of the fastest growing countries and showing remarkable resilience in the face of major headwinds, the rupee has the potential to become an international currency. And what kind of major headwinds? So for last couple of years, maybe the stock market has seen some exceptional growth because of the liquidity which is there in the market. But the world is seeing, uh, seeing a different picture. So the major headwinds you can see there is a geopolitical context to it Ukraine Russia war is there because of that, that war there are fluctuations in the prices of oil and the countries like India are heavily dependent on the import of oil then there is this coup belt which is going on that the western African countries who are there who were once part of the France and the uh, who were once dominated under the west are being cooed by the militaries of that particular state that particular countries and they are supposedly backed by the Russia other than this there are many other things which are there in the world be it inflation be it uh, the wars and more things like that so in that scenario in the in those major headwinds Indian rupee and the Indian markets have stood strong they hold held their ground and now they want Indian government and Indian people RBI IDG they want the rupee to be international nationalized okay and if we take a quick example so in our homes in our societies in our panchayats be it the countries take any example the person who is respected or the amount of respect which will be given to that person would be equally proportional in a large context in a greater context would be or at various number of times would be to the person who has uh, a good amount of money or who is financially stable similarly this thing is very much apt for those countries who have financial independence and who have financial uh, solidness to themselves okay so that is that is the reason why idj reserve bank indian government are pushing to make rupee more to make the world multipolar and to make the uh, economies of the country dependent on the different different kind of rupees in that context these recommendations are significant in the light of economic sanctions imposed by the us on russia why for invading ukraine and the growing clamor for finding an alternative to the us dollars okay and this alternative is there because uh, the, yeah, the us government they have imposed sanctions on iran they have imposed sanctions on north korea they have imposed sanctions on russia so these are the countries like there's a a uh, pact which has been there uh, by the Iranian government and the Reserve Bank of Russia. So they agreed upon a thing called 
a digital stable coin okay so that particular stable coin would be backed by gold and that is why the founder of zarodha's nikhil kamath which is considered one of the best startups from india he said that i don't know why the world is sleeping on this but this is going to change the face of the world okay so there are efforts where the countries are moving away from the dominance of us dollars and india is also doing this be it from the from becoming the part of this BRICS plus and then going for the multipolarity or finding ways to trade with uh, uae uh, by removing the middlemen or by removing this uh, the modality of this dollar between the two countries so this there is a thing where the different countries are aiming to go for it now let's talk about the benefits of internationalization of the rupees so one benefit is economic autonomy okay so the greater independence from the external currencies now most countries almost every country has gained its territorial independence okay but for last few decades for last couple of decades for last two three decades it has been realized that this territorial independence is half or it's not fulfilled until and unless you have your financial independence until and unless any other uh, international organization be it world bank be it imf or the countries who back these international organizations like united states they don't have a sway over your country over your policy so you need to make yourself uh, economically independent you have you have to have that economic autonomy okay so one thing is that one benefit is that and india is also craving for that second is trade and investment opportunities enhanced prospects for cross border transactions so every transaction every startup which is there the whole idea of a startup the whole idea of a business uh, right now in this age is to remove the middleman okay be it this magic bricks be it this 99acres.com so what's the idea there the idea is that the uh, the buyers and the sellers will come on a single platform similarly the idea of ola is same the idea of other many other startups are same okay to to make a platform where different different countries can come together different different people can come together I, i'm sorry i said countries but these countries are also willing these countries also want to make a system where there should no there shouldn't be a middleman now be it that the that uh, that particular middleman is united states so that particular middleman should be removed from it and both the countries who are dealing with each other they should have an autonomy or they should have a, a decision making power to take third is global influence increased influence and standing in the international financial market now this is very much important we are saying vasudev vakatam become we are we want to enhance the reputation of india at the global state be it from g20 be it uh from uh, by becoming by saying that we can lead uh, the global south or by doing all these things so uh this is this would be one step further this would be one step in that direction uh to enhance their its global influence and another one is multipolar monetary system as i have said this multiple times in my different lectures that, that the idea of this government or the idea of the, uh, the current prime minister for this multipolarity can be seen by the statement like we are not going to uh, look away from you we will see you in the eye na hum upar dekhenge na hum niche aa kar ke baat karenge na upar hum aankh mein aankh dal ke baat karenge to we'll see you in the eye we'll respect you we'll respect your culture but similarly we want respect from you okay so that's the multipolarity there is no unipolar world or there is no uh, now is not the situation of a cold war when there are two countries who are fighting uh, with each other on others land and benefits is benefit is theirs and all of the challenges and all of the uh, circumstances which are uh, coming from those wars are to be burned by the countries in which in those areas these fights are being fought okay so the multipolar monetary system contributes to the financial stability and reduces the concentration of power in a single currency and as i said that the unit of money this money represents power okay so by monopolize by with the multipolarity of the money or the uh, the stands on which the whole world or the financial system stands it should be diverse now th there are some challenges and potential to these alternatives one is the challenge to uh, challenges to dollar dominance now it's very uh, important to understand that 
challenging us dollar the us economy maybe it's not in its the great shape maybe in last 40 50 years you haven't seen the debt ceiling of united states crossing its mark again and again but still there is a size of us economy which is very deep it has been said that uh, the us economy is 30 times greater than the economy of india okay and chinese economy is five times greater so there is a depth in US, there is a size of us economy the trade and the financial networks are huge there there is a depth of us financial markets and the macroeconomic stability and currency convertibility is there there is a stability which is there even after this lehman brother crisis in 2008 they survived and they, they came back on track okay and why this size of the economy as it has been said by one of the most popular uh, business guys in the, in the country Ashneer Grover he's also very much popular on the reels he said that today's Alexander's and today's uh, Napoleon's are Elon Musk and the other person was uh, Mark Zuckerberg they are the people who are controlling economy they are the people who have technology they are the people who have their say in the governments so these are the current day Alexander's and these are the current day Napoleon's and where they do they belong they belong to uh, US so there's a size of the economy and there's a depth in the US financial markets depth in the US financial markets because every person now there's a fashion in India to be on the share market and to be financially educated but uh, 10 years back 15 years ago this uh, 15 years ago uh, every person in uh, US market has its account on a uh, this Zerodha type thing or the uh, uh, yeah. what, what do you say जो भी करेंसी जहां पे खरीदी जा सकती है वहां पे उनके अकाउंट्स रहते थे ओके सो द डेथ ऑफ द यूएस फाइनेंशियल मार्केट वाज देयर द मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक स्टेबिलिटी एंड द करेंसी कन्वर्टिबिलिटीज आर आल्सो देयर वेयर यू कैन कन्वर्ट योर करेंसी इजीली सेकंड थिंग इज पोटेंशियल अल्टरनेटिव चाइनीज रेन नाउ देयर हैव बीन इंस्टेंसेस व्हेन दीस चाइनीज रेन्स द द चाइनीज इकॉनमी वांटेड टू रिप्लेस uh, the US uh, economy and there have been talks that by 2030 China will replace uh, United States until and unless we uh, discussed about this two weeks back that how this Chinese economy is struggling and how there is a problem of debt and there is a problem of uh, deleveraging um, now if you have, have to understand this deleveraging and debt you have to see this video okay so please go and watch it it was a very detailed video but Chinese economy also wanted to do this they also wanted to make their presence in the global financial market but somehow it has been now it is now being seen that they have failed and so that is why it has been said that you need resilience and you need stability for this to make yourself to make your uh, to make your currency that strong okay so there is a new there is a need for long term resilience integrity transparency opaqueness and stability in china's economy and financial system okay so there's a uh, th these are the things which are required these are the things which are required in the chinese financial system and any economy which wants to replace or which wants to establish on the global level these are the qualities which should be there now another challenge would be steps required for the rupees international would be robust currency settlement infrastructure okay so we need to create a setup like uh, there have been talks in the office that there are a few banks where you deposit your money and they, uh, they they'll show that uh, that money has reached to your account three days four days after depositing into the banks okay so there is a requirement where you have to make a robust currency settlement infrastructure where the currencies get settled in a minimum time period at a minimum time period the, and upis are a very good example of it if the banks can somehow uh, replicate it and if the banks like most banks are doing this uh, there are few banks who are if you deposit your money in a bank and they'll show it in your bank account by within two hours or three hours okay so other banks have to understand from that and if they can replicate it that would be very nice second is strong forex market and the gradual liberalization of capital accounts so in india it is it is quite tough to uh, convert the capital account and the money on that so that needs to be taken care of now what are the advantages of internationalizing the rupee so one is mitigating the currency risk use of rupee in the cross border transactions reduces the currency's risk for indian businesses okay so there would be no uh, indian businesses will will they don't have to walk on the tight rope rope of import export and if the cost of the money goes up then maybe the the dynamics of the imports and the the value of their exports and imports will change so these things will get uh, reduced by a good portion by a good amount 
production for the from volatility lowers the cost in the and promotes the better business growth and enables indian business to expand globally with greater confidence okay so these are the things which are required a confidence is a thing which is which is being required be it a person be it an individual or a nation or a country okay second thing second advantage would be reduced dependency on the reserves internationalization of the reduce uh, rupee would reduce the need for holding foreign exchange reserves now there is this thing that you have to hold some foreign exchanges some certain amount of foreign exchanges to to be uh, aware or to be prepared for any unforeseen circumstances another thing is decreases uh, it decreases the economic cost associated uh, with maintaining the reserves and enhances india's resilience to external shocks and reduces the vulnerability to fluctuation in the foreign currency market okay so these are the things two things which are required it will it will also improve the bargaining power okay as i said that iski lathi uski bhais and that particular lathi is the money be it a uh, be it an individual be it a society be it a society from any part of the country or be it the nations okay the nations they have the money in their pocket if they are financially independent if they don't have to rely on particular states on particular countries all on particular international organizations so they would they would be having a bargaining chip in their hand okay so growing usage of the rupee enhances the bargaining power of the indian business it strengthens the indian economy and adds weight to its position in the global market as we know and it, it enhances india's global stature and respect in the international economic affairs okay so but there are four challenges which needs to be addressed number one is leading reserve currencies so there are other than us dollar there are few other currencies also like euro japanese yen and pound sterling if india wants to replace uh, united states dollars or if it wants to do something which uh, the us dollar has been doing but there are few other countries below us there are few other countries which have been trying this for a very long time and these are euros japanese yen and pound sterling other than chinese yen okay so these are the countries these are the economies india have matlab they have to learn from the mistakes of these particular countries and they are better placed than us okay so we need to be very much aware of that dynamic situation another thing is rents limited success china's efforts to internationalize the ren have had limited success and we discussed why uh, this has happened because the same lecture the debt and the deleveraging of the chinese economy there is opaqueness in chinese economy you never know what's the real data is there recently the chinese said that we are not even publishing the data okay na rahegi baas na bajegi baas sorry we're not publishing the data and uh, it has been also said by the private companies that the unemployment in china is around 20% so and the chinese youth as i have already already, uh, already earlier said the chinese youth is not someone like a uh, next door graduate of asia okay they are the people they, they are the students who have cracked one of the toughest examinations in this world it was it is called gaokao examination okay and by clearing that examination uh, also 20% of the population is unemployed so but you, these are the things which have been investigated by the investigated by the private firms okay the data is still not out so there is an opaqueness out there so you have to be very much transparent to make to uh, build the uh, confidence into the investors third is opportunities for the rupee the potential for the rupee to gain prominence in international trade and investment and the currency settlement infrastructure strong forex market and gradual liberalization of the capital account is a path to success so if india really wants to do this and it has to do this it is the need of this hour the us economy is slightly fading uh, indian economy at the stature of india and the indian economy is growing and this is a right step in a right direction so be it uh, the expansion of the brics or be it the multipolarity of the economies through the brics brics plus be it the removal of the dollar between the trade of uae uae and india or the dollarization efforts by other countries also so this could be a right step in right direction but india has to learn from different mistakes which have been done by the different different countries and 
we have to play on our ground we have to play on our strong pitch and by doing that maybe one day we can replace dollar also okay so that's it from today we'll meet in the other class until then take care bye bye